The businessman's daughter left the poor guy at the request of her father. After 10 years, she regretted it very much. Hey guys, I think many people have heard the phrase that a man builds his own destiny, and therefore no one but you will make you happy. No one's responsible for your happiness. As a result, only the one who conquered himself, who conquered his fear, his laziness, and his uncertainty win in this life. After all, the life of each individual person is worthy to make a film about it. And I think in this film, there will be a lot of interesting and instructive things to do or not do. Our next story is from a few years ago in Portland, Oregon. A guy named Tom was an ordinary student from a simple family by American standards. His father was a trucker and his mother worked in elementary school. But anyway, the guy was very determined. From a young age, he was good at soccer and played for the school team. Exactly due to his sports achievements, he entered the local college on a free-of-charge basis. Of course, far from his family, the guy had to provide for himself, so he took any job. From the simple courier to a waiter in a local cafe. And by the way, it's the last place of work in a small restaurant that the story begins. Tom was only 19 years old when he first saw and later got to know a girl named Sophia. Already at first sight, she charmed him. She came to the restaurant on the red Ford Mustang, always at the same time, and judging by the care of the institution staff, the girl was a regular customer. At that time, he worked in the restaurant only for two weeks and, therefore, didn't know that she was the daughter of the owner of this cafe. As it turned out, the girl's father had a small chain of seven establishments all over the city. But guys, this didn't prevent our hero to leave a deep mark in the life of this beautiful girl. The guy served Sophia's table several times, and since they were peers, they quickly found a common language, several dialogues, and they already have common interests. When Sophia came to the restaurant, she always looked for the guy with her eyes, and Tom, in turn, always ran to serve her. So with time, a symphony arose between them. One day, having gained courage, Tom offered Sophia to take a walk in the park in the evening, and to his surprise, she agreed. The guy could not believe his luck. He wasn't even embarrassed by the fact that he was an ordinary waiter and she was the daughter of the owner. That day they walked until late at night, took pictures and told their life stories. Those who were on the first date will definitely understand. When the evening was nearing its end, each of them didn't want to part. The guy even walked the girl home, after which they kissed for the first time. From that warm June day, Tom and Sophia started relations. It was the first and only summer vacation they spent together. At that time, it seemed to them that these feelings would last a lifetime, and they would definitely grow into something more, perhaps even a new family. But guys, at the end of the summer, there was a sharp turn in history. After graduating from college, Tom looked for a better job, went through dozens of options, and made plans for the future. Of course, the guy was 100% sure that Sophia was also included in these plans, but how he was wrong. One evening, the guy, as usual, came to get the girl, hoping to spend the evening together. Tom was happy to share with her the fact that he'd found a good job and also wanted to offer to start living together. Yes, maybe someone will say that this is stupid, but this is life. The guy expected to rent a small apartment because he was firmly confident in his feelings as well as in the feelings of Sophia. He rang the doorbell at the door of a beautiful house where the girl lived, but nobody opened the doors for a long time. When he rang again, the door was opened by Sophia's father, the owner of the chain of restaurants. The guy only managed to say hello, as he immediately heard the terrible words, which were like thunder in the middle of a clear sky. Hello, Tom. Sophia will not go out with you today, and this is, you do not come here anymore. You are not welcome here. The guy was in a stupor because it was so unexpected for him. He wanted to say something, but before he could even say the words, the door closed right in front of his face. It was more like a terrible dream. He couldn't believe that it really happened, but he was outraged by something else. Why didn't Sophia come out to him? Like any normal person, a guy did not just retreat because behind such behavior could hide something. That's why Tom was waiting for the girl under her house the next day, and when the gates opened and a car appeared from them, he went there. The guy was firmly convinced that this was all just an evil joke, because before it was all good and she could not do this to him. But what happened next was probably the worst moment in his life. The girl put down the window of the car and said, I'm sorry, Tom, but my father told you the truth yesterday. It's not your fault, but I can't go on like this. I really had feelings for you, but you are an ordinary waiter and can't give me anything. It was a simple interest, nothing more. We had a wonderful three months of summer, which I will never forget, but I need a completely different person who can give me much more than just walks in the park. Tomorrow I am going to university in another city, so don't look for me anymore, and I really am sorry. After these words, the girl closed the side glass and gave it the gas. Tom stood in the middle of the road for a few more minutes and couldn't recover until a car passing by signaled him to get out of the road. So the boy's dreams were broken into many pieces, and his heart almost stopped beating. Since then, Sophia and her father never saw the guy. 
He didn't even take his personal belongings from the restaurant. But as you understand, everything in this life, sooner or later, falls into place. And this story was no exception. A few years later, the girl graduated from university and returned to her hometown. And a little later, she married a rich young man, the son of a family friend. They played a noisy wedding and began to live and rejoice in life, resting at expensive resorts and wasting their parents' money. And perhaps everything would have gone on like this, but five years after the wedding, the girl's father was gone, and the whole family business passed into the hands of Sophia and her husband. I think many people understand that they have no experience in managing restaurants at all, and none of them have ever worked anywhere. Most of the income from restaurants they invested not in business developments, but in expensive yachts, cars, and recreation. Already very soon, things in business went very bad credit obligations, staff salaries, rent of premises, and so on. All of this was beyond the power of two young people, and nobody really wanted to get into the business because they just couldn't do it, relying only on rich parents all their life. After a while, the couple got into big debts, such that they even had to sell cars and houses. The only thing that could save them was selling a chain of restaurants. By the way, 10 years have already passed since the day when the girl left poor Tom. Sophia and her husband were looking for a buyer for restaurants to no avail. But nobody wanted to pay the amount they asked for, namely $3 million. Until one day, a stranger who was ready to buy their entire business called Sophia's husband on the phone. And this man even agreed to pay more than the couple asked. For the couple, it was not just good news, it was their lifeline. A day later, they made an appointment. When Sophia and her husband arrived at the appointed place, they were kindly met by a stranger named Craig. He said that he was just a director and, frankly speaking, did not quite understand why his boss had made the whole deal. Everyone understands that the cost is overstated, and given the fact that after a few months they'll be completely ruined, a man could buy their business ten times cheaper. But since the boss said to buy, then he knows exactly what he's doing. And these words, Craig called his boss and said everything's ready, just need a signature on the documents. Of course, Sophia couldn't even imagine at that time that she would see the one she left many years ago, who was a waiter in a restaurant. Yeah, guys, it was just like that. The door to the meeting room was opened by a respectable man, and when Sophia looked up to see this generous millionaire, she almost fell from her chair. It was the same Tom with whom she once spent the summer and whom she left at her father's request. Of course, Tom knew who would be present at this deal. Actually, so is about whose restaurant he buys. The guy just came up to Craig and patted him on the shoulder and asked if everything was okay. Yes, sir, thank you, Craig said. After putting his signature in the right place, Tom looked again into Sophia's confused eyes and then turned around silently and left the office. The girl remembered this look and once favorite features, but now it was a look of a completely different person, not the boy with whom she walked in the park, the look of a person who has gone through a lot and achieved success. When Tom left the office, Craig congratulated them on the deal. The girl's heart was beating so fast that she could barely ask just one question. And who is this rich man? To which Craig replied that his boss owns a very large chain of restaurants and bars throughout the neighboring state. He also added that Tom is a very good, humble man, but life was quite unfair to him. It's rumored that he was in love with a girl who left him because of poverty. That's why he became what he is now because he made a promise to himself many years ago to achieve success. I don't know what would have happened to that girl now if she hadn't turned him down, Craig said. A similar story was shared many years ago by a young woman for an American magazine who wanted to remain anonymous. She also said that after selling her father's business, her husband started drinking alcohol, after which they got divorced. Now she lives all alone, quite modestly in a small house. And she also works, as all the money received went to pay off loans and other obligations. And this story probably proves the fact that you should choose with your heart, not by dry calculation. Rich parents are no guarantee that you can continue their business. In today's world, it's very important not only to earn money, but also to be able to save and increase your earnings. Guys, that's all for today. Please send your opinions in the comments. Do you agree with these words? Also, rate this video if you like it. And see you soon.